Hey YouTube, so today we're going to go over the fastest way to parallel up your pictures. Um, this way is extremely efficient. I just want to make sure you guys have on the right settings and make sure you're doing it the fastest and most efficient way possible. Um, if you guys could go drop a like on this video for me, make sure we can get this to 10 likes. I've never asked for a like goal before, so go drop a like right now and also hit the subscribe button. Really help me out and let's get into the video. All right guys, so for starters, you want to make sure that you go to play versus CPU and that you pick the Orioles in your home. All right, you want the most opportunities to pitch. That will give you nine innings to pitch every single time if you're home. Um, and the goal here is to pitch all nine innings because you want to try to get the win, the complete game, and as many strikeouts as possible. So we're just going to pick our pitcher and hop right in the game. All right, guys, once we're in the game, you want to go to your settings and go over to pitching. Now, I have difficulty on rookie. I think you should all have it on rookie. You can, I mean, it doesn't really matter. That's the lowest you can go, but rookie doesn't make a difference for your PXP if you go up and over or up in difficulty. Pitching interface, I keep it on the one that you're most comfortable with. I know classic makes you go a lot faster, but classic, you have a lot less control with your pitchers. So I think this way uh, we'll get it done the quickest way possible. All right. So once you have those on, um, all we're going to do here is we're going to throw two fastballs up and in. And I want to use again pinpoint so I can be as accurate as possible. Two fastballs up and in. All right. We throw a ball there. Once we get to two strikes here. All right, we dropped on a bunt, so that's not what we wanted. But I'm trying to show you guys here the best way possible when they don't bunt. Um, two fastballs up and in, and then a off-speed pitch down and away. Usually it is a strikeout almost every single time um, against lower difficulties against the CPU. So look here, now we finally got that. Let's throw a slider down and away. As you see, we get a strikeout. So you want to do this over and over and over again, right? So again, we're going to try it one more time here. We're going to go up and in. We're going to go two fastballs up and in. Just to show you guys that it works, and I'm not lying to you. This is what I do. Two fastballs up and in, and then we're going to go slider down and away. And he's going to strike out again. So now that we're done with the top half of the inning, I want to show you guys what we're going to do with the hitters. So with the hitters, you just literally want to bunt every time. If you want to upgrade your, your hitters as you do it, you know, go ahead. But if you're just going to sit here and focus on your pitchers and you want you know to upgrade them the fast as possible sit here and just bunt with your hitters man just give up give them free outs take free strikes it's gonna be the fastest way possible um like i said i just am trying to get to my pitcher on the mound as fast as i can every single inning so this is what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna sit here and i'm gonna bunt and bunt and bunt give them free outs give them free strikes and you know just try to get my pitcher back onto the field as fast as possible also guys you want to make sure that you can at least Put up one run. So right here, I'm just going to hit a homer with Trout real quick. We're going to put up one run, take the lead, and we're just going to hold that lead the whole time, right? Once you get up one run, just make sure you score it. doesn't matter what inning. Just score the one run, um, and you will get the lead, and then your pitcher will therefore be in line for the win every time. So again, we're just going to bunt, give him free outs. Now we're out of the inning, and now our pitcher's back up. So I'm going to go through a whole game here. I'm not going to show it on here, but once I get to the end, I'm going to show you guys how much PXP I get from this method that I am showing you right now. All right, guys. So as you can see, we pitched nine innings. We got the win. We had 20 strikeouts. We did have one walk. But I just want to show you guys, uh, once I exit out of here, um, how much PXP this actually got us for these nine innings, 20 strikeouts, complete game, um, and everything like that. So we're going to advance. Um, so if we go into parallel upgrades, we got 670 for Shohei Otani right here, as you can see. Um, so if you sit here and just grind this, guys, over and over, 670 PXP per time is crazy, right? You sit here 10 times. That probably took me 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes, 10 times, uh, two and a half hours, right? In two and a half hours, you can probably get 6,000 to 7,000 PXP, man. It's the fastest way to do it, most efficient way. Uh, pitchers are super easy to, to, you know, parallel up. You just got to really grind and do it. Uh, you could do it in a day easily. Um, so again, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.